Energy's here, you're not ready for the wham Energy's war, I've never been glam Energy's sure like bars will land Like a missile straight to the plan Energy's more than everything, man Energy's mad, don't mess with the ram Good morning, people. What a beautiful cup of coffee on a beautiful Easter morning. And the Easter bunny did come last night. And we got some pretty good goodies. Oh, man. One of them being this amazing coffee in front of me. But we'll talk about this in a bit. The dogs got their Easter baskets. <laughs> Perry and I got our Easter baskets. And so there might be a little bit of candy consumption going on during this episode of Road to Ripped. Episode number two of Road to Ripped. And it's going to be a really good Easter special episode. All right. And for breakfast this morning, we might have a couple of pieces of candy. But um, Premier Protein actually sent me and Perry some of their pancake mix because we've been talking about their frozen pancakes so often so i'm not going to attempt this but perry is going to try and make uh these pancakes all right so we did about two servings of the pancake mix then about two-thirds cup of water and one egg give it a quick stir is this gonna work i have no idea all right, small issue. Uh, it's definitely rising quite a bit right now. All right, attempt number one. Um, I mean, you know. All right, and as she cooks, I'm going to actually try out what she got me. Uh, a Dr. Pepper Peep. I'm really not a big Peep fan, but I am a big Dr. Pepper fan. All right, we got the whole gang here. <laughs> I don't know if I taste any Dr. Pepper. Also, for Easter... I got Perry, I got us, really. This right here was on sale at Target. Um, let me get the actual, the fake eggs out of here. Because what it does is it cooks and boils real eggs, actually I guess it steams real eggs. Um, and you can cook 12 eggs at a time in this thing. So hopefully I'll be able to use this and not have to keep buying the pre-cooked, pre-peeled ones from Costco. So definitely excited to try this out. All you do is put a little water at the bottom poke holes in the egg so they're easy to peel and turn it on. All right, people, breakfast is served. What a good layout. Uh, right here, I made a little protein yogurt. So I did about 285 grams possibly of some Dan and Triple Zero and then one scoop of protein. All right, we got our pretty little bunnies and I'm just gonna rip an ear off. Um, all right, the goal here, let's figure out if it's worth it to get the pancake mix or just go with the microwavable ones. Here's how we're looking. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely good, but I still would rather prefer the frozen ones that you put in the microwave. They do taste a little better and they're a hell of a lot easier to make. Um, you can't make bunnies out of them, but for all intents and purposes, I would rather have the frozen ones. All right, we also used the new egg maker to make some hard boiled eggs. Actually, it has different levels to like put water for how boiled you want them. Perry did over medium and like that is precisely over medium. So dash egg uh, thing, definitely a good purchase. All right, meal complete, just tallied up calories and macros. So an absolute laundry list of uh, laundry list. All right, so an absolute grocery list style of items. <laughs> So an extensive list of uh, items in here, but I did try and track everything. Um, 875 calories, that's a big old first meal. Um, but we do have right at 80 grams of protein in there. So I'm actually feeling pretty good. Also very, very filling. Um, but as a first meal, a very, very solid one for our little Easter celebration. All right, for sake of time and because it's just honestly so nice out, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my workout now. I'm gonna start it with a little outdoor walk. I mean, it is literally like 85, absolutely gorgeous out. So when I'm working out at home, it's nice that I get to like do my warm up outside at home too. So I'm gonna walk for like 15 minutes, then we'll get this day started. Hey duckies, hey duckies. Day's workout is going to be a little different. It's gonna be a weaknesses day. And all it really is is it gives me an opportunity to like hit things that I didn't get to do a really good job of hitting throughout the week. For me today, I think it's gonna consist of shoulders, traps, and abs. So it should be a really good all around workout. Now, first thing we're gonna do is work into a little bit of stretching just to get nice and warmed up. So a little bit of band work, a little bit of light dumbbells, a little bit of front raises, nothing heavy here. 
all light sets, but definitely just getting warmed up, getting ready for the movements ahead. All right, first real exercise is going to be for traps. So very standard, we're just gonna use this Smith machine here and do barbell shrugs. Weight's relatively high, gonna do three sets of like 10 to 12. And I'm actually gonna superset this with a shoulder movement. And that's gonna be more sets of the band lateral raises. Um, these feel really, really good, honestly. So you're gonna do like 12 to 15 reps here. And we're gonna do three sets here for that superset. All right, now I'm feeling good and pumped. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pump cover off from TLF. And by the way, uh, this whole fit is from their new performance collection. Um, an absolutely insane new style, like super stretchy dry fit material, tops and bottoms. By the way, the first time I've ever done this, I think, uh, zipper pockets. Very, very nice on the back shorts. So this whole fit is from TLF. This whole fit is available right now as well that you can use my discount code, save you some money on your order. And I do really, really love this brand new launch. Next set is gonna be another super set and we're gonna be doing behind the back shoulder shrug. So a little more controlled. I'm um, doing this with 45 pound plates because I don't have any dumbbells. I'm gonna do about 10 to 12 of those and then pop over to a little makeshift front raise that I've made on the cable machine for shoulders. Uh, feels really, really good though. And I'm gonna do about eight to 10 here. It's pretty heavy, um, but I do feel a really, really nice contraction in like my front delt. And once again, we're gonna do three sets of this superset. Next, we're gonna be working in two abs. So I'm gonna be doing a superset four abs here. One is just like a cable pull in or like a weighted crunch pretty much. Really, really enjoy this movement because you can really progressively overload on it. Um, so it's good for that. And I'm gonna superset that with uh, an ab roller. Uh, this is all around good movement too. A little harder to progressive overload, but it is a very, very nice movement, especially when done together. And that's what we're gonna do for, I think I'm gonna do four sets of this and with low rest time in between as well. So it should serve to be a very, very good ab workout. All right, people, and that will wrap up today's workout. Pretty long workout for not too many exercises, but now on to the physique update. And I mean, it's been about seven days since my last video, and has there been a whole lot of changes? No, not quite yet, but I'm definitely starting to get in the groove of things, and I'm starting to feel like the changes are gonna be coming soon. And the week has gone well too when considering my calories and macros and weight. Throughout the week, I hit a nice low at 219.1 and then slowly climbed up to about 221. And I feel like that was mostly because of me like seriously training hard, seriously taking my creatine. And I think I just added a couple pounds maybe of muscle mass or just water over the week. Um, and then this morning I woke up 219.5. So still down a decent amount, almost two pounds from where we started Road to Ripped in seven days. So that is really, really good. I'm curious to see how my weight kind of levels out over the next week or so, because that'll give me a much better idea of where to go from here. But considering that we did technically still lose two pounds, um, cardio is not gonna change as of right now. Calories are not gonna change as of right now. And for a quick reminder, um, that is 2,500 calories with over 200 grams of protein and uh, about 10 to 15, more like 15 minutes of cardio at least five times a week. Um, training's been good. I really, really need to uh, buy some dumbbells to put in here because although I have the, the cable machine, it does help a lot. I gotta get some dumbbells to help supplement that. But I mean, couldn't have asked for a more gorgeous day to come out and get a workout in on Easter Sunday when all the commercial gyms are closed. Having a garage gym is just absolutely ideal for this. I, and yesterday I did spend with my family eating quite a bit of food like prime rib and mashed potatoes. So definitely got a little off road trip yesterday, but I still got a workout in and I still did cardio. And yeah, one little slip up on a holiday this early into road ripped isn't gonna happen have a real big negative effect. The most important thing is that I still did cardio and lift that day and got right back on track the next day, which is today. By the way, if you wanna check out my review on this RipFit machine, 
finally, finally up on the channel. I think it's a really good, all-inclusive, very, very well-rounded review. Um, it was the video posted last on the channel. So if you want to check it out, uh, definitely do that. It's a pretty unique piece of equipment for the price point for sure. Um, now I got to get my cardio done. I'm probably going to maybe go on a jog outside for a little bit and then finish with like 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. It's just so nice. I want to be able to enjoy the day. Whew, okay. Uh, 15 minute jog, or no, 10 minute jog, 12 minute Stairmaster. I am torched. Two hours and 22 minutes. That was a hell of a workout. I'm literally drenched. All right, for post-workout, um, so I've tried one of these before. I said I didn't really like it, and everyone said I gotta try a different flavor. So we're gonna try Rocking Protein Shamrock Shake. All right, here we have the chocolate flavor, 30 grams of protein, 190 calories. Not as good as uh, Fair Life, but let's see how it tastes. I think I tried the vanilla first time and it just was kind of eh, but let's see how chocolate treats us. Yeah, actually chocolate is, it's pretty good. It is good, but I just don't think it compares with the Fair Life still. I think the biggest difference is Fair Life tastes a little more true milk, whereas I can feel a little bit, a little bit of like graininess in this like from some extra added protein maybe or something. So all around, not a bad option, but yeah, I'd still go for the Fair Life, honestly. Uh, it did set us up pretty nicely for calories and macros for the day. A uh, thousand calories overall and right over, right close to 110 grams of protein. Um, that is pretty nice. So I'm gonna finish this up, hit a shower, and then it's time for a kind of late lunch. All right, all clean, and I wanna make something that I actually got yesterday, so check out this little clip. So this is the previous day, but I just got a package that I feel like I need to unbox right now, so let's do that. Boom. All right, this could not have come at a better time um, because I need to do some meal prepping, and this hopefully should help out. So ButcherBox kind of reached out to me, asked if I wanted to try out some of their stuff, and um, I've heard of ButcherBox before. I've actually thought about grabbing their stuff for gifts and stuff uh, in the past. And so I'm really excited to see what products we got. Um, first thing first, packaging very well insulated. And there's, um, well, there was dry ice in here, but it's been sitting for a little while now. Oh, everything's still very frozen though. Let's see what we got. So for my first time, I wanted to get a variety of different things, a variety of different meats. And the first thing we got are chicken tenderloins. So like you're like thin chicken finger type chicken breast, by the way, still very frozen, which is good. This is something that I think is kind of interesting that they offer. So I'm all about obviously trying to make things as simple as possible. You can actually get pre-cooked. So this is diced up chicken breast and um, I'm excited to see how this is. All right, and the last chicken product I got, this is literally just frozen chicken breast. By the way, this is like 3.2 pounds. All right, into the beef. Hard to tell what this is, but it's grass-fed beef tenderloin tips. So that'll be really nice for making like hibachi style stuff. Then I think one of Perry's favorite things, flank steak. Making uh, fajita style stuff with this is really, really good. Um, so I'm really excited to try like the quality of their stuff. Ground beef as well. This is 85.15, a little fattier than what I personally choose to do most of the time. But when we have the calories for it, I'll be trying this out as well. And this I'm excited for, very excited for. It is uh, Alaska cod. So yes, white fish is kind of boring right? But it's some of the leanest and highest protein food you can get. And it's always nice to switch it up from chicken all the time. Also, these come individually packaged. And since they sent this stuff out for me, I asked them if I could get something back for you guys. And um, all the way through April, anytime you order through my link, they're going to be tossing in ground beef. And it's not just once. Every single order that you stay with ButcherBox, you're gonna get free ground beef in that order. So that is pretty nice. You'll get a lifetime supply of ground beef if you want. So check the link out down below for them, but now let's actually make some of this stuff for a meal. So now that we have everything defrosted, I'm actually gonna make a salad 
with the pre-cooked chicken that we got from Butcher Box. Just try everything out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open and get our meat into a bowl. And that ends up looking pretty solid. All right, now I'm gonna make a big salad and only eat half. I'm gonna start with a full bag of romaine lettuce. Next, we can go ahead and dump our chicken in. For our dressing, I'm gonna use this Simply Dressing, 50 calories per two tablespoons of Caesar is really, really good. All right, this might sound kind of weird, but I promise it's not a bag of ready pasta. And typically I'd use like Parmesan or mozzarella. Don't have any, so I'm gonna use some fat-free feta cheese. Next, some salt and pepper. And lastly, I'm gonna toss just a couple cucumber or <laughs> croutons in there as well. Go ahead and give this a really big stir all together and you're left with a beautiful and large salad. All right, and here is my roughly half portion. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's exactly half or not because I'm gonna track it as half and then I'm gonna eat the other portion of it at another time. So it's gonna end up being the same amount of calories overall anyways. All right, large bite, but definitely has a little bit of everything in there. Actually, yeah, that is delicious. It's not easy to make pre-cooked chicken taste decent. A lot of the stuff that I've been getting that's pre-cooked chicken ends up being like squishy or slimy or like rubbery. Um, I get none of that here. It's bland, there's no seasoning or anything on it. A little bit of like charcoal grill. Other than that, it's very, very bland, normal, but good, good texture on the chicken. That is nice. I heated it up in the microwave a little bit too. That probably helped. Combination of feta with this Simply Caesar dressing, really, really good actually. And then you gotta throw in just a little bit of pasta in your Caesar salads. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. Add some really good carbs. And uh, when you have the calories for it, definite must. Yeah, all around very impressed. A very, very tasty, tasty salad. Um, chicken cheese is one of my favorites anyways, but super simple to make too. Like less than five minutes all in. Got two meals out of it. That's really nice. Uh, calories and macros, also very solid. Sitting about 650 calories for the meal. Uh, everything well tracked in there too. Uh, and with that, 181 grams of protein. So I'm not too worried about my protein intake today. I feel like I'm gonna be right on track. Yeah, all around super nice. The butcher box chicken was very good, and all around the meal was very, very good, and exactly what I needed post-workout shake, post-workout. Quick cleanup, now I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. I'm not really that hungry, but I wanna make a lot of meals to meal prep for the week with, so, I'm gonna start with three sweet potatoes. Gonna chop these up just like that. Now we can go ahead and season this up. And we're gonna be switching up, trying something new. Flavor God Everything Spicy. I just smelled it, it smells really good. Excited to try it out on this. Do a nice shake here, a nice shake here. All right, we can go ahead and transfer this into a baking pan. And I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes or so. So part one, cooking. Part two is gonna be the meat. And I have two types of fish. Um, one is mahi from Costco. Other one is cod from Butcher Box. So I'm gonna try and cook five fillets in my air fryer. All right, so we have two cod fillets, three mahi fillets. I'm gonna season them half with lemon garlic, this sounds really good. And then I've talked about this before, not this brand, but everything but the bagel seasoning on fish is really, really good for whatever reason. And this can go on the air fryer and we're gonna do seafood setting, plus two minutes, good to go. And about 10 minutes later, these turned out Perfect. All right, and because I'm lazy, but also need vegetables, I'm just gonna do some frozen veg. Do about 100 grams of that, toss it in the microwave. Also, sweet potatoes out of the oven and looking delicious. All right, people, dinner is served. A simple one, a delicious looking one, and one that I wanna dive into. First things first, let's try the meat. I'm gonna try the cod first, and this is the lemon garlic. That's very, very good. The seasoning's good. I think, so I've kind of tried a little bit of everything from Flavor God. The flavor is there without a ton of the saltiness that like the Kinders has. So I do really like that. Um, the same thing goes for like this seasoning, the spicy everything on the sweet potatoes. Like you get that flavor without like an overwhelming like salty flavor. 
That's really nice. The mahi with the everything but the bagel on there. It is really good. I do enjoy mahi, but I don't enjoy mahi as much as I enjoy cod. And the cod from ButcherBox is really, really good. Altogether, a super well-rounded meal. I'm not even talking about the mixed veg because it's just simple mixed veg. And with the leftovers between the potatoes and the fish, I'm gonna have at least three meals out of this. So that is really nice as well. So a little all-in-one, we got to try some new seasoning, some new items. Um, meal prep recipe and a dinner recipe. And if you want to see more recipes like this that you can have right in front of you in an ebook, my cookbook first link down below is what you want to go get. It is the best way hands down to support the channel and I've gotten some really good feedback on it. Everyone's really enjoying it that's picked it up. So definitely check that out. We have 400 calories in the meal, 2100 calories overall. And with that, 230 grams of protein already. So 2100 calories, we have some room for dessert. Um, I have something that I promised I would put in this video that I really don't need to eat, but we might as well make it for dessert tonight. And here we have it, people. A nice dessert creamy tonight. Oh yeah, the Reese's in here is popping. That is phenomenal. All right, so let me explain what I did here. One, I've been asked multiple times to do more creamy recipes, so they're coming back for Road to Rip. Two, I've been asked a lot on whether you can use the creamy recipes that I've shown in the past, but without the Jello mix. This one was made with no Jello mix, okay? It is just 350 milliliters of Fairlife fat-free milk, and then I just did one scoop of the Pea Science um, select whey casein blend protein and that casein portion of the protein really adds a lot of thickness and I think that is what makes this recipe specifically not need the pudding mix. Pudding mix is supposed to add a thicker consistency and a little more flavor but more for the consistency and so when you have that casein blend of protein you're able to get a really nice thick ice cream with it without having to use that jello. Now I've tried creamy recipes with pure casein protein, too thick. So that whey casein blend is a really good middle ground there. And just to show you for reference, this is how it looked after I took it out after the second spin and added like a tablespoon or maybe two tablespoons more of milk after the first spin. It turned out really, really perfect. Next thing I did was add two of these right here, the little Reese's eggs. It's Easter, come on, we gotta have a little Easter celebration in there. Uh, and Reese's eggs are delicious, they're better than normal Reese's. So slid two of those in there, put it in the mix-in setting, and here we are, dessert is served. So this can take me a while to polish off for sure, but when we look at the calories and macros for the day, we went over a little bit, okay? It's a holiday, not gonna matter too much. All right, 277 grams of protein. I wasn't even trying to like have like a super high protein day. This is just like what I eat. <laughs> that is crazy though. Like I feel like this is just such a typical full day eating for me. Some days my protein is super high like this. Some days it's at like 200 grams or sometimes even like 190 grams, but it all levels out as the week goes on and I probably end up somewhere around that 220 mark, which is exactly where I need to be. So I'm gonna polish off my Reese's Ninja Creamy Blizzard for dessert, but I'm gonna leave you guys right here, but I'll be seeing you very shortly in the next one. Don't go anywhere, get subscribed. It's gonna be a wild ride for Road to Ripped. See you in the next one. Peace. It's the anthem If you rockin' with it, put your hands up